Hello, this is Telfman Trifle production with another Blender Quickie for Beginners. And in this Quickie for Beginners, I'm going to show you guys how to make this. Now this is a scene from an upcoming animation I've been working on for the past like two and a half to three years and I should be done with it pretty soon. But this is a close-up zoom in of a home. Let's click on place so we can see what that looks like. So we're going to make this whole home right now in Blender. Now this was, or I, I was inspired to have this home because I saw it online through a, another website called Chief Architect, which is, is this the um, free model right here. But according to them, you have to get their permission in order to use any of their models in anything that you do, so I didn't want to go through that process. Uh, so I decided, let me just recreate it and turn it into a tutorial. So we're going to model the front part here today. It's going to be like a three-part series the middle parts and the side parts. Now the car and all that stuff, we don't need to model any of that, just the building itself. And we're going to use an add-on, a free add-on called uh, Building Tools. And it's, I'll leave a link of it in the description below this video. And it's kind of a tedious process, but with Building Tools it makes it a little bit easier to do it because the Building Tool takes up most of the work for you and there's a lot of back and forth with it so if you see me clicking on the uh, sticky notes here because I need to remember some of the uh, parameters and the options that I can use to make this go through a little bit smoother a little bit easier so once you've downloaded the add-on go to edit you know you install it by going to preferences and then install, navigate to where you've uh, downloaded on you to your system. Click on install add-on. And once that's done, let me type in the add-on myself. You're going to click on the checkbox to put a check in it to activate the add-on. Once you've done that, you'll see it's off to the and to the uh, tool panel here on the right-hand side of your blur interface. Now I'm going to try to use the keyboard shortcuts. And hopefully, because I've done it before, it's crashed Blender before, but a good thing in Blender to do, a good habit to have, is once you, you know, go along in the process of creating, save automatically. So we're going to turn this on. I'm going to turn this to the left-hand side so you can see it over here. Let me pull it out a little bit more. There you can see the keys that I'm pressing. I'm going to click on File and Save. And we're going to do, let me... Remember, save this so you don't have to redo all this stuff again. Build tool toot. Enter. Oh wait a minute, that was wrong. That's the old way of doing Blender. This is the this is Blender 2.8. So I entered the field, <coughs> entered into the wrong field. So let me go down to the bottom here. Let me t type in home build. Home build. Enter. Enter because in the old blender you enter the fields at the top to save it, but in the new ones it's at the bottom. Don't know why they did that, but that's their choice. And so once that's done, we're going to hover our mouse over this section. Once it turns to a double arrow, left click and drag. <coughs> Excuse me. Do the same thing with the horizontal bar, left click and drag this also. And we're going to turn this uh, window into the UV image editor. Left click on that icon. Eve editor once again file save to be on the safe side don't want to do all this stuff again because that's frustrating and then we're going to now for myself I can't provide this picture for you guys to use because it's not mine this belongs to uh, chief architect but I'll leave with a, a link of their sites on in the video below in the description below this video so you can just uh, get this thumbnail yourself and use it as a reference so I'm going to left click and drag this over and then let go and there it is. Then we're going to click this push pin to make sure that this uh, image stays here and it doesn't disappear. And once again, let's save. File, save. Now we're going to get rid of this cube here. Delete that on the keyboard. And let me drag this up because this, these options are getting, it's covering up the keyboard shortcuts here. Let me drag this up on the Y axis. 
All right. Now let's click on this camera. Shift, hold down shift, left click on the light. Let's delete those. File, save again. Safe, not sorry. And then we're going to minimize our, we'll minimize that actually. Actually, we'll have to minimize it. Let's click on building tools and click on create floor plan. And as I said, we're going to model this first part in the first series. Second series, model the middle. And the third series, do the last parts with the terrace and the stairs. So now we want to, from this picture, this is twice, well, it's wider than it, it is, it's longer than it is wide because in the front you have two built, two windows at the top, two at the bottom, and just one at the top here, one at the bottom. So let me reference the measurements that I have in my sticky notes. So six by five by four for the floor plan. Okay, that's good to know. And with building tools, before to use it, you have to click, on, go into edit mode by clicking on tab, but you have to make sure that once you've clicked on tab, you make sure all your options are set the way you want them to be set because once you go into edit mode, all the options that are here are going to disappear. You won't be able to get them back. So before we go into edit mode at all, we're going to make sure that the floor plan is in the right dimensions. So the front part, we want this to be longer than the side. So we're going to click on that pop-up menu. And from my sticky notes, 6.5 was the width. So 6.5 enter by four is good so let's click on one on our keyboards here from the front view once again save that I, I can't emphasize that enough because there's so many times that I've gone so far in a project didn't save it and you spend like hours on it and it just crashes and then you have to start from the beginning that's that's unbelievable frustration people unbelievable but to, to avoid all that drama file save remember that so now we have our floor panel where we want it to be. And the next thing we want to do is create these slabs here, or the floors themselves. So we're going to hold down the middle mouse button and then we're going to pivot. So we can see it from the top. And then we're going to press tab on our keyboard to go into edit mode. And we're going to go into face select by clicking that left mouse button. Left click on our floor plan. Once it turns orange, that means it's, it's activated and it's ready to go. I'm going to click on add floors. Now we see the slab is kind of, because this is the balcony here and the slab is more flush with the side of the building. Once again, file, save. If you think of file, save, do file, save. But the slab is, let me see, is flush with the side of the building. So we want the same thing for this slab. And in the building tool, you want to make sure, like I said before, that you have everything the way you want it to be before you move on to the next step. Because with building tool, it remembers the uh, changes that you've made to the previous uh, previous parts of the building before it moves on to the next and applies those previous measurements to the next part. So make sure, like I said before, that you want it where you want it to be. So right now we want the slab to be flush and a bit higher up uh, on our building here because right now it's not as high up as it is in the image and it's not flush with the side of the building. So let's click on our options, left click on that. And we're going to, let me see, here's a slab option here. We want the thickness to be more. So let's go to 0.4. So left click again, backspace. And I can see it's covering up the options, the keyboard shortcuts there. Uh, 0.4, enter, make it higher and the slab outset we want the slab outset to be like I said flush so we're going to put this on zero left click in there left click uh, left click once press zero enter now it's flat i want to move this up higher so you can see it better let me see higher up bud all right more in the middle okay there we go now we have our slab here that is flush with the side of our building. Once again, file, save. And we want to have four floors, or two floors, sorry. That's the first floor and the second floor, floor of this portion of the uh, building. And we're going to go back into our building tools. 
and we're going to click on actually not that we're going to go back to our uh, floor options here and we're going to increase the floor counts to two so left click there now you can see the, f the the slab here is the same as it is here let's say we didn't make these adjustments here and we wanted to make it later after we added this building it wouldn't apply to this one so make sure like I said before I can't emphasize this enough make sure that you are fine with the options that you've made in the previous adjustments before you move on to the next step because you can't go back at all you can't go back and adjust you can't even press control Z because that would just eliminate all the options altogether so be sure about what you're doing with the building till before you move on to your next step so we have slabs here the next thing you want to do is create these windows let's create the top ones first so we're going to minimize this left click let's left, left click on this face here and then click on add window and we have two windows here so we're going to click on our options here once again file save and we're going to increase our count to two because I have two windows at the top so two now the windows are pretty wide so on the width part let's make sure that I'm looking at this right let me go to my uh, sticky notes here let me see X is side to side X is width Y is height okay uh, I'm referencing that because usually Y Y is forwards and backwards and Z is height in 3d space so here Y is the height and X is the width so that's that's kind of confusing a little bit but on the uh, width of the windows we want it to make it a little bit wider as they are in the images here in this picture we want to make it a little bit wider so let's click in here and let's type in let's type in three enter it's a little bit too wide so let's type in 2.5 2.5 enter that's better because we have it's not too wide but it's wide enough so we want the height to be there also so now it's at one let's, let's click in here change this to two enter and that is okay but a little bit too too high let's click in here and go 1.5 1.5 enter that's better now we have our slab here which is fine we have that little space at the top which is also fine so that's what we're looking for and we need to have some bars in the middle so now our options here for the fill type for the windows left click in there and then we're going to click on bar then we have these two bars here and this which is what we want but the bars seem to be a little bit kind of thick so we're going to make them a little bit thinner let me see and the frame itself is a little bit thick let's zoom in let's scroll up let's use our once again <laughs> This is like a, it's still covering up the keyboard shortcuts, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but let me, it's like you can't win or, or lose, uh, whatever that saying goes, but this is just a little bit frustrating. So let's move our, my keyboard shortcuts to, to this part where you can actually see it. Okay, here we go. Which way? Here we go. We're going over to this side. Let's move it down a little bit. Okay, hopefully I won't have to move this again because I want you guys to see the keys I'm pressing because there's going to be a lot of keys, a lot of key presses that, that will be going on. But back to our windows at the top, we have, I want our bars to be a little bit thinner. And we want it to be thinner on the, let me see, on the horizontal bars, which I, I don't know if this will do it on both bars at the same time, but let's, let's just give it a shot. So the bar width, let's decrease that a little bit okay well, that looks good that looks good and our frame looks fine too now you can you know now you're probably saying well the horizontal frame is higher up than it is in our 3d image and we'll fix that manually once again we're just using building tools to do the bulk of the work for us but like little adjustments we'll do that ourselves but we have our windows set where we want them to be and now we want to get the bottom windows in there so let's minimize this Let's left click in here, go back to our building tools option, and click on add window. And once again, it saves the changes we made to the first set of windows. But as you can see from the bottom windows, they're a little bit taller, and they don't, they don't have the horizontal bar, and they have two vertical bars. So we want to fix that. So left click on that. And we want the count of the windows to be the same. 
but the horizontal bars we don't want any horizontal bars at all so left click on that to get rid of that we want two vertical bars let's click left click on that and we'll have two bars there and want it to be higher up now let me look at my options again my sticky notes and see okay x is side to side y is up and down so we want to have the height affected but not the width so on y let's change this to two enter and there we go we have the height of our windows here as it is simulated in the image or seen in the image and also the same thing for our tops now for our side windows from what I can see it looks like there's just one bar going through the middle so we're going to take we're going to take our window options left click on this also and then add window and what's going to save the change that we did previously but we only want one window here not two so let's click on the count and turn it back to one we have that there and let's just have one bar going up so vertical bars left click on that and make it one do the same thing to the top window the top space of the building left click on that and add window so that's there and you can see that once again the top window is shorter in height than the bottom window so let's fix the top one once again I've got to reference my sticky notes for the heights let me see x is side to side y is up and down so we have to adjust it on the y axis so let's turn this to 1.5 on the size of the y click on that 1.5 enter and so now it's shorter which is what we want so we're going to pivot around middle mouse button let's turn this around left click on the top here add window and that's where we want pivot on the bottom or click on the bottom left click on the bottom add the window want that to be taller on the y-axis so left click in here press 2 enter and now we have that let's press 1 on our keyboard and once again I'm, re I'm being reminded mentally to save so file and save and there we go so now we have the whole front part of the window modeled of the building modeled and that just took us maybe like I don't know three minutes as opposed to doing it from scratch which would have taken longer so let's now click on the top part because we want to have a slab roof let's pivot left click on the top then add roof and obviously it's going to be flat but what kind of roof are we looking for and we want let me see yeah flat is right but we want it to be thicker and so the thickness is going to be sim it's going to be we have some like the thickness here with what's here so we're going to click on this left click again backspace and press 4 and enter and that's the thickness that we want and we want the it to protrude because you can see from the image it protrudes outward from the top of the building quite a bit so let's turn the uh, let's change the offsets also the point four backspace four enter and now we have that part of our building sticking out far enough as it is in the image and once again I'm being reminded to save file save it's gonna save a lot of frustration in the end now the next part is to model the balcony now this usually with this you have to click on the slab here and click add balcony but because it uses the top part of uh, the mesh to do the rails it can't figure out why there's one one uh, the geometry here that's just one slab there are like one two three four rectangles at the top so in order to just get past that let's left click in the middle here and then we're going to press add balcony and it gives us a balcony now we're going to have to position this once again file save and we have to position this so that it it's, sits flat or flush with the bottom of this top floor but before we do that let's try to get the width right because it's not long enough so on the size part once again, I'm going to reference my sticky notes X is side to side okay so that's the width so we want to make it longer 
And let's let me look at my sticky notes once again to see what the dimensions would be. Balcony size on X is 10. Okay, that's a good thing to remember. So X, let's type in 10. So we want, and the reason why we're doing that is because we want the length of the balcony to reflect or be the same as the length of the <coughs> of the garage doors of the three-car garage at the bottom. Once again, we're being remi reminded to save the file and save. And so we have that. And now we want to move this into the right position. Now, now from my from this image, there's a it's a wraparound balcony, but Building Tools doesn't have that option of having a wraparound balcony. It just has puts balconies in the front, and we could actually modify that in Blender. But as you can see from from my um, camera angle here, I didn't want to mess with having to do the wraparound balcony so I just did that top part and just forgot about didn't worry about doing any kind of side balcony because you, you wouldn't be able to see it anyway so what's the point of doing that so we're just gonna model the fronts because we were just hitting it from the front angle the bottom front angle uh, in the in this scene because we're just staging this pretty much so we're going to move this over move the balcony over towards the the left so here we're just going to hover our mouse over the X option and offset it, so it goes to the left. So we're going to do this number. So hover your mouse over and just move it. And then press through on the keyboard so you can see it from the side view. We want to move it down also so it's flush. Flush with the bottom of our top floor. And that's on the Y axis. So we're going to hold down the left mouse button and drag your mouse to the left. And let's zoom in a little bit. You see, I guess it's got to eyeball it to make sure it's right on points with that. Come on, buddy. Let's use our arrows here. And there we go. Now it's flush with that. So let's press one on the keyboard so we can see it from the front view. And move our mouse gizmo, our hand gizmo, because we want the balcony to be flush with the side of the building. Scroll in with your mouse wheel, left click. Hover your mouse over the hand option so you can pivot or uh, pan around in your view and scroll up against so we, we want to see how this is going to sit flush with the side of the building and that's going to be on the X axis. So just click on the arrow with your left mouse button and now it's flush as it is in this scene. And now that we've got that, we want to pretty much decrease the number of rails here because this this has, let's see, this doesn't have that many rails in front, so we want to decrease the number of rails in the front. And then to do that, you have to go to the post option. Let me see if we can click down on that. Ooh, post option, ooh, okay. Post option, I'm just I'm just noticing those other options there. We want to decrease the density, so we're going to left click on, our, on this with our mouse, left mouse button on this arrow here, left click a few times. You can see that the number of rails starts to, to decrease. And we want it probably somewhere around there. That looks good. Okay. And basically, we're done with this. You could be saying, well, what about the the glass in the front? We could put that in. We'll put that in. Once again, this is for the building tool. It's just for heavy lifting, so to speak. But all the minor stuff we can do ourselves. Let's click File and Save. Okay. So we've got that part done. Uh, let me see. Is there anything else we need to do? We could actually make this a little bit higher up because this railing system is a little bit higher. This one's a little bit lower. So let's click on the height so the, of the corner post. Let's click on that and see what, what happens. Okay, that makes it higher up. Okay, so 0.97 would be good. And then once that's done, Go into tab, and we're pretty much done with this. So we're going to move this to the side, and we're going to make the garage part at the bottom of the three-car garage. So we're going to left-click on our move gizmo, and once the uh, gizmo comes up, we're going to move this to the side, just for safekeeping. And we're going to click on File again and Save. Very important. And we're going to click A to deselect everything. And we're going to create floor plan. Now, remember, for our, we want our floor plan for the three-car garage to be the same width 
as the as the balcony okay and or the same length as the balcony and then the width is kind of iffy and we don't really need to worry about the width all that much if we're off a little bit that's fine because even though we're not going to model this part remember we're just doing building the building just as a um, a scene set up for a prop because we're not going to have it you know uh, pretty much architecturally correct so to speak just to have it as a as a uh, scene set up for our scene so we can have make it look like hey this is how the building looks from the top to the bottom don't worry about any imperfection that you may or may not see that will cover up with stairs so that's not going to be an, an issue but the length is is important I mean, if you remember the length of the balcony was 10 on the x-axis as you can see from our sticky notes let me see okay balcony size on x is 10 okay so from the floor options remember we're going to click on these options before we go into edit mode and the width we're going to type in 10 enter and once again file and save very important and now for the width because our original width was 4 uh, I'm thinking that this balcony would probably be I don't know what the measurements of this is if it's inches or feet or whatever it is but I'm thinking it was like maybe a quarter of of the uh, of a foot I guess so I'm just going to type in 4.04.04 .04. For that width and just pretty much leave it at that and we want to like I said do the three car garage so let's minimize this tab in edit mode let's left click on our floor plan here and we're going to click on add floors and once again it saved the last option that we had for making our original building but we want to just have one floor for this so we're going to left click in there floor count turn that to one and we don't want a slab so we're going to left click on that for no slab okay and we can see from our image here that the the height of it is a little bit more than what we have here and I think uh, making it the floor height at three would be fine let's click in there type in three enter and that looks good excuse me let me see. I want to make sure we have enough space here. Even if we don't, it's still fine. I'm just gonna be using this to do the heavy lifting, and we're just pretty much uh, uh, going to add the simple stuff ourselves because we can see here that we have uh, some kind of wood beaming going on at the top, separating the the uh, garage from the uh, building itself somewhat. So we're gonna do that ourselves. We're going to make sure we have enough space at the top, too, in order to get that uh, piece of wood uh, mesh in there. So let's click Let's uh, click on our face here. Remember, we're still in face select. And you would assume that let's use doors for the uh, garage doors. But I've seen that adding doing the window is better. It, has, it looks closer to the uh, image than it does using the door. So let's click on Add Window. And we have three, one, two, three garage, garage doors. So we're going to increase our count to three, one, two, three. Okay. And we can see that uh, from the offset, the garage doors are kind of flush with the ground. So on the offset on the Y, we're going to push these three garage doors down. So we're going to just left click and drag in there. And just drag our mouse towards the left until it's flats on the ground and then we can see that we have it kind of separated are the pattern that have these squares here we have one two three four squares so there are one two three horizontal bars and then three vertical ones so let's put in three three so we're going to go into the horizontal bars one two three and the vertical ones two two three and there we go and let me see and that actually looks pretty good yeah and and the lights 
the outward lamps and things like that that's not hard to model those are just rectangles pretty much and it's not nothing really major in terms of modeling that but yeah we have that all set together now we want to make the garage doors a little bit higher up so we're going to increase it on the y-axis let's let's type let's click in here and press 2.5 2.5 enter oh let me try it again 2.5 enter okay for some reason I don't know maybe it's based on the width I guess of the doors it's not allowing us to go any higher than that but we can let me see can we fix that yeah we can fix that that's not going to be a problem fixing that but yeah there we go so we've got that part. So basically, we're pretty much done with using the building tool in terms of modeling the hard stuff. And then let's go into edit. Let's get up edit mobile pressing tab, and that's pretty much finalizes the use of the building tool. Remember, file and save. Now we're going to make these adjustments ourselves to bring it closer to what we see in the image. We're going to start with the garage door first. So go back in edit mode, press tab. And we're going to go into Vertex Select. Let's click on that. And we're going to go to X-Ray View. Left click on that. Press 1 on our keyboard. The first thing we want to do is make this shorter because this is too high up. So we're going to press B for Box, sele box Select. Left click and drag over that. Go to our Move Tool. We're just going to pull that down. And there we go. You can also notice that with our vertical bars we have a situation where our bars are evenly spaced out but here uh, they're they're pretty much not we have squares now as they have rectangles in theirs in order to fix that let's go into face select let's scroll up let's go to x-ray view scroll up on our mouse wheel let's maneuver this around by pressing on our hand tool scroll up and we're going to hold down shift left click left click actually control Z to go back out left click that then press control well actually hold down shift and left click on this one also control L oh it, it chose everything which was not that's not what it's supposed to do <laughs> sorry it, press control L on that I guess if you it, it, I think it selected everything on that but that's fine so just hold down left click on a face press control L so that chooses the whole thing, the whole bar, and just click and drag off to the left. Do the same thing with this one. Left click, control L, drag it off to the side. That way it mimics what we're seeing in this in the in the actual picture. And we're going to hop our mouse with the hand, the pan tool, drag this up and do the same thing with these. Left click, control L move it. I mean, this is not really anything hard to do. Left click, control L, drag it over. Pan again. Left click, control L, drag it over. Left click, control L, and drag this over. And there you go. And then we have to pretty much simulate these, this piece of wood paneling. Like I said before, that's not hard to do. Let's get out of edit mode by pressing tab. And then press shift A on your keyboard, mesh, and go to cube. Got your cube there. Put up on the on the uh, z-axis. Let's pan down so we can get a better view of what we're looking at. And the next thing we're going to do is just scale on the z-axis. So S, Z, and then just pull your mouse in. And then go to the top view. We're going to try to center this in the middle. And we're going to press SZ so we can scale it on the X axis. SX, sorry about that. And then XY. Okay, then I'm going to pull this forward a little bit so that it is positioned somewhat centered. Then one again on our keyboard. And I'm just going to pull this down. And then that's it. That's the top part. That's that top wood paneling up there. So that's not really hard to do. Then you got these wood beams here, which is, I mean, it's still the, pretty much the same process. You're just going to hold on. Something's come to my mind again. File 
and save. Remember that's file save is your is your friend in this in, in 3D animation because if you don't get in the habit of doing that, you're gonna end up frustrating yourself quite a bit. But uh, let's do the bar. Let's do these wood uh, beams sticking out of the uh, of the garage top here, and it's it's simple. So let's press A to get out to deselect everything. Then press Shift A, mesh, and cube again. Let's pull this up. Go into front view, and just scale this down. Let's zoom in so we can see what these panels look like. These are still rectangles. So we're going to scale it on the z-axis, so S, Z, and pull it up on your keyboard. And go into the side view by pressing 3, and then pull this forward. I'm going to make this a little bit a little bit shorter on the top, so S, Z again. You want to make it longer on the y-axis, so S, Y on the y-axis, pull this out. And we're just going to position this. And press 1 on our keyboard so we can see. Probably should change the shading viewport so we can see what we're looking at here because we can't really see the detail. Let's go to EV. Maybe. Is that better? Let me see. Let's make it a little bit brighter. Ugh. Let's get some lights in here. This is not really part of the building process, this is so we can actually see what we're looking at. Press Shift A, get some lights here. Shift A, mesh or lights, some sunshine. Pull this out. Rotate it on the X axis, and yeah, now we can see what we're looking at. So let's left click on this, pull this down, because we want to position it right above these middle slabs here. And there are four. Now we can use the array modifier to do this, but I mean, it's, this is just. <clears throat> I mean, if, it were, if there were a lot of these beams, like 20, 20 30 beams, <clears throat> excuse me, it would be you know, something necessary to do, use a ray modifier, but this is just four beams, so this is not really a big deal to position ourselves. S, Y to make it a little bit smaller. S, Z, a little bit shorter. Uh, let me see, it's a little bit thicker, so let's S, X and pull in to make it thinner. Let's pull it in. Let's look good. Yeah. Maybe a little bit smaller, a little bit, yeah, it looks good, a little bit smaller, and pull it up. And that looks good, so Shift-D, again, just pull it in the middle, because that's where this one is. Once again, File, Save, Save. And we're going to pan over to our left, Shift-D again, pull it over, Shift-D again, pull this over, and our garage is done. The lights themselves, I don't think that would be a big deal to model any of that. But let's put our top, our first model of our building on top of the garage to see how it fits. So I'm going to pull this up. Let's drag it over. Go into side view. And we want to position it so that the lip of our balcony goes over the, directly over the lip of the top of the garage. Like I said, the back part doesn't really matter because that's going to be covered up just in general by this other building. So I'm going to pull this back. I'm going to pull this down. Let's go into three to side view. Scroll up. Let's pan down. Let's press G on our keyboard. Okay. And there you go. That's our the model of the top of this building. And you can see from the top of this building we have those wooden beams again. Oh, this is a bad texture job here. But that's not our issue. But let's uh, get these beams up here also. There are three beams at the top, so let's left click on that. Shift D. Let's grab it up here. Pull it up. And this sticks out a little bit more, so let's go into three the side of you and let's position this pan down. We're going to left click and drag on the Y axis. This is flush against the very top of the roof of the slab at the top. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Let's go into one to see it from the front. And then shift D again. Drag on the X axis, middle. Shift D again and drag it over middle. And there we go. So we have this building, this portion of this building 
built using the building tool add-on which is free in blender it was pretty much effortless as long as you stick to the points that I pointed out about making sure that you are actually satisfied with the adjustments that you've made before you move on to the next part of the building process you'll be fine and you'll be good to go but yeah that's today's blender quickie for beginners and this is part one of this series and in part two we're going to model this part the middle part as you can see from the top it's going to be a bit of a tricky issue uh, doing the top part because it's it's uh, arced it's an arced top and the building tool doesn't have that option in there so we'll find a way to figure that out too I'll, I'll show you how I did it to myself but yeah that's the day's blender quickie for beginners hopefully this was helpful to you who have been watching and thank you guys who have subscribed in the past and those of you guys who are subscribing now and those of you who will subscribe in the future really appreciate you guys thank you for the views and everything really appreciate you guys and i really thank you guys for all your support and all your help and i'll see you guys on the next part of this tutorial but before i go once again file save all right adios